Cottage is known for their cooking classes from children to adults. Hi, I'm Nicole Flowers. Uh, welcome to the Culinary Cottage where we love to teach people how to cook. And today is National Egg Day. So we're gonna show you a few excellent ways to use the egg. I think so many people get stressed out in the kitchen and they don't like to cook because they find it daunting or stressful or overwhelming and I want to change that for them. So we're going to do a couple of things today. The first thing we're going to do is learn to poach an egg um, in a very zen fashion because I think poaching eggs does seem very um, complicated and difficult to achieve but it's really not. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do to poach this egg is we're going to crack an egg into a fine mesh sieve. A strainer looks just like this. The goal of this is to let any of the weepy part of the white drain out so that we don't have all that weepy wispy stuff in our poached egg. So you can kind of see that draining. And I usually just suspend it over a bowl um, until that's finished. Doesn't take terribly long. Once that nothing is dripping out of the bottom of it again, you can put it into, you need to have a, a glass bowl. You can put it into the glass bowl once it's done. Once the eggs are done weeping, drop them in the boil gently. The water must come to a slow boil. Once you drop them in, the timer is set. And they're gonna cook for about three to three and a half minutes once we turn the water off. Nope, we're not making eggs Benedict today. She is topping them on a salad. Mm -mm -mm. Seems so fancy. This is about $2 to make. So if you remember, we've already dressed this with our Dijon vinaigrette. And while these eggs are still hot, I'm just gonna break them up with that beautiful yolk and just toss it in our salad. Just gonna add a little bit of bacon. From a beautiful salad to a different kind of appetizer, next we make a harissa spiked bruschetta topped with a boiled egg. Take a, a regular, you know, tomato basil bruschetta, but we've used harissa paste instead to kind of kick up our tomato mixture. So we're gonna put a little bit of this lettuce. We're gonna put, this is our harissa spiked tomato mixture. It has white onion, garlic, Italian parsley, and harissa paste to give it a nice kick. Then we're going to put a slice of our hard-boiled egg on top and a little bit of our crumbled bacon or a lot of our crumbled bacon. Again, classes continue here at the Culinary Cottage. Be sure to check her website to see what she has to offer today. We got to learn two excellent recipes. I have to say very elevated, but the best part about it for around $6, you're able to feed 18 people this gorgeous looking recipe. And it's posted today on salive.com. Just click the recipes tab. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. I'm going to keep eating. Mm. 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 That egg on that salad like that looks right. so good.